Let's go back to before Scarlet and Violet with the final set from Sword and Shield, Suncrown Zenith. So here we have the Cinderace Blister, we have the Inteleon Blister, and we have the Rillaboom Blister, which I just picked up for $20. So yeah, uh, I actually already had both of these two, and I don't really know what I wanted to do with them. If I wanted to use them for pack of the day, or if I wanted to throw them in other videos, and I was like, why don't I just get the third one and we can just make a whole thing of it. Uh, I was going to pick this one up online, and then we happened to see this in the shop, and so I picked this up. Uh, physically, like, in person, which just made it easier. And Teleon happens to be my favorite, though, so we're setting him for last. So yeah, pretty simple. All of these come with a pretty basic, in my opinion, uh, promo card. A pin and three Crown Zenith packs, which is a fantastic set. I really do think Crown Zenith was just like an amazing way to end off the Sword and Shield era. So I guess we'll first take... Did I get the... Okay. Uh, we'll take a f look at the pin first. So we have our Cinderace there standing on one of the pin bags. <laughs> but yeah, a uh, very, very tiny pin here. And you can kind of tell like thumb comparison. Uh... Yeah, not a very large pin, but I will take it. I guess the issue with some of the Pokemon is when they get when you put them in a pin, they tend to look kind of kind of tiny when they're all skinny like that. But we have the Cinderace promo card here, Sword and Shield number two hundred and seventy-eight. These have to be at the tail end of the uh, Sword and Shield promos, and then of course we have a code card. But let's see what Cinderace can give us inside of its blister. So, God, it's, uh, yep, yeah, this way, this way for pre-Scarlet and Violet. Then we pull out the code card, and it's three to the front, one out the back. It's still weird just going back and forth between Sword and Shield Pack Trick and Scarlet and Violet. But we have the Lyron, Friends in Sinnoh, the Gloom. Oh, was I wrong? Is it not three to the front? Did I do that wrong? We'll find out. Energy Search, Scyther, Ryolu, my boy. Uh, amazing way to start off a video, we have the Galarian Gallery Absol. As I'm sure some of you guys know, Absol is my favorite Pokemon, and I actually have an Absol collection. I collect all of the Absol cards especially. This is not one that I had yet, as I didn't want to go uh, buy it as a single when I'm still able to find packs. There's a chance that I'm going to just pull it naturally. So now I don't have to buy him. We have the Trainer Gallery Absol right here. Behind it, we have a Zonzetta. But I'm just always super happy to get anything Absol. Yeah, there, there are a couple of videos on this channel. You can go back. I can do set releases, and I pull the Absol, and it's like an uncommon or like just like a standard rare, and I'm excited about it. I'm probably like the only person who is, but it means I don't have to buy it as a single. Anyways, we have another Crown Zena so far. The Cinderace uh, blister is looking fantastic because uh, it's that it's going to be hard to beat the Absol, in my opinion. Of course, there are a lot of great cards in this set that we could pull, but that that's kind of like the the grail for me pulling that one. So going to be hard to beat that. I think Cinderace might have already won out this video to start it off. We have the Aeron, the Core Fish, Energy Search. We have the Ditto. Uh, which, of course, you don't actually have to peel this one like you do in Pokemon Go. And a Semi-Seer V-Star. I still love the artwork of this card, but we have already pulled him, and I did talk about how it looks like he's uh, an Avatar Piss Bender rather than a, a Fire Monkey. I just don't like the Simi, the, the, the Simi and Pan uh, line. Uh, the, all, all six of those boys. I just don't care for them. They're just such boring, basic, like, by-the-numbers Pokemon, in my opinion. But we do three to the front, one out the back, and we have the Electric, Lost Vacuum, and Great Balls, all the uncommons. Going on to the Love Disc, Emolga, Yanma, Cricketot, and Turtwig, Galarian Gallery. Another one that I do not have. We got a hit in all three, all three packs with the Cinderace. I probably should have saved this one for last, but we have the beautiful Galarian Gallery here. Um, I do tend to like some of these more like negative space, like not very complicated cards. And I kind of like the, you know, the lifelikeness of our actual Turtwig there. I feel like that j greatly helps with my opinion of this card. It looks very lifelike. But behind that, we have a hop. All right, so I guess next up, we are doing the Rillaboom that I just bought. I'm pretty sure these blisters are supposed to be like 15. Maybe they are supposed to be 20. I just feel like I overpaid for it, but I don't know. I feel like... 20 is usually reserved for like tins and stuff. Of course, prices have gone up now with Scarlet and Violet, but 
before Scarlet and Violet that, you know, prices. So let's go ahead and start off here with the pin. Of course, this guy looks a bit better in my opinion because it's not, you know, uh, just, just the larger Pokemon do better when converting to pins unless they give like the smaller guy like a backing, which we've seen before. Like you have like, more of a background behind him, which kind of helps with like size issues. It just feels like, I don't know, weird just being that thin, tiny. If you were to like put it on something like a bag, but uh, the bigger ones, in my opinion, just convert to pin form a lot better. So we have our Rillaboom here. But then, of course, we have the Permo Rillaboom, number 277. Uh, yep, that, that is certainly a card. And we have the code card. So let's start doing packs. The Rillaboom can bring us the same amount of good luck. I mean, we got three pulls. We were three for three in the... Uh, Cinderace Blister, maybe we'll get four out of this, you know? I mean, it's possible, because you have two slots to pull from. You have the Reverse Slot and the Hollow Slot. So there's a chance that one of these could dethrone the Cinderace one and get us four pulls instead of three. But it's super unlikely. <laughs> we have the Whale... RCSV Star! Golden! Galarian Gallery 70 of 70. I think value-wise, Rillaboom might be the one that wins out. <laughs> uh, we have actually pulled this card before, uh, but to my knowledge, it's one of the highest in the set. I don't think it is the highest, right? Or is it? Do I have two of the most valuable cards in the set now? I feel like there's something above this, but I don't remember. Either way, RCSV Star Golden and a Lycanroc behind it. Yeah, um, I think value-wise, our Rillaboom might win out the day, but... Uh, not quite winning it for me yet, which it probably should, because if I remember correctly, that card is very valuable. So I should probably consider that to be a to be a winning pull right there, you know. But I'm not going off of value because even though I display values on screen for these things, um, I don't sell them. I, I, I still, since I have started this channel, I have not sold a single card. So the value doesn't matter a whole lot to me right now. It mostly just tells me, hey, this card is sought after. You should treasure it more. Uh, Rare Candy, Yanma, Ponard, Cricketot, Chanot, Galarian, Mr. Mime, Rigid Gigas V-Star! Another uh, Galarian Gallery V-Star, this being number 55 of 70. Uh, we also have already pulled this guy before, shockingly enough. But we are just... What, what is happening? Okay, so we now have three pulls out of the second blister. The, the, the Leafy on V-Star, there is price on screen. Uh, yep. We, we have now pulled three things from this one as well, and there's still one more pack to go. I, I might have been... Oop, I just punched my desk. Clarify. My ring made that sound, not my hand. But uh, I might have been right. We might actually get four pulls in one of them. <laughs> what is happening? The, just no duds, man. All right, so do it. Do the thing. You pull out, then you three, then one, and then you you crushing hammer and dust glops. I still like that artwork. Tricking shoes. Cricketot. Aaron, Ryolu, Starly, Scyther, Entei, and oh, oh, we got three pulls. I had to say something. We got our first dud. Six packs in, though. All right, let's see if my Inteleon boy can keep up. We can. See, let's see if he can actually get us, you know, the same level of three pulls in a single triple pack blister. It's just wild to go three for three, man. Like, getting 100% odds on anything is nice. Granted, you know, this is just three packs. It's not like doing an ETB. And getting like eight or nine, you know, pulls, you know, one for every pack, depending on what set you're referring to. Like, not quite that same level of insanity, which I don't think I've ever achieved. I'm sure it's been done. Um, you know, basically like a god, a god pack, but for a uh, an ETB. Anyways, we have our thin little Intellian pin here. Uh, yeah, same issue. I just don't really care for the super thin ones. I'm sure people think I'm nitpicking because I am, because I really don't care that much, but. It's just something about these thin boys. This doesn't look as nice as, you know, a big boy. So there is the promo number 279 being our little water sniper lizard. And we have the code card. All right, let's see. Let's see if we go this straight out three, three and three, or maybe even better. There's the code card. We do through to the front, take out the thingy V-Star token. And we have the trekking shoes. 
Matang, Digging Duo, Galarian Meowth, Energy Retrieval, Shink, Slarvesta, there's something back there, Aeron. We have the Altaria. I actually am fairly certain I have the Swablu. Didn't they do both of them as Galarian Gallery? I swear I've seen something that was like this bedroom. Um, I don't care for it. I don't think this is a good card. Like, just being straight up. Uh, this is one of those, like, real-life, like, we knitted this thing. You know, like, this Pokemon was, like, actually made and a photo was taken of it. But it looks like the whole background wasn't. And they just really poorly took that, took a photo of it, then turned it into a PNG and just threw it over the, the bedroom background. That is so boring. And, like, it stands out so much because they didn't put any of the hollow foil on it. That's not true. It's, uh, Iris's light up. That is so boring. That is just a lame Galarian gallery. Okay, moving on, we have Zamanzetta. Okay, yeah, then I, I didn't know that card existed. I, I don't tend to like memorize these sets. So you have people that can not only know like, like look at a card and immediately know what set it's from, but they can also give you like a, a, a decently accurate price for that card just from looking at it. I'm nowhere near that level. Uh, I still get surprised by cards from old sets because you know, I don't have them memorized. And I don't like spend hours looking at images of the cards in the set. Okay. Origin form Palkia V-Star. We have gotten our third Galarian Gallery V-Star from this. No, four? Yeah, no, three. Yeah, because it was Regigigas, Arceus, and now Palkia. Um, this is not one that I had, unlike the other two. And I do not have the Dialga, so now I kind of want to get it, even though I don't care for the new Origin forms. It's hard to still call them new. Um, still a very nice looking card. I think they only did the three golden ones, right? It was just Arceus and these two, or did Regigigas get a gold as well? I don't think Regigigas got a gold. I think this th there's only these three. Either way, very nice looking card. Very happy to have gotten it. We got a double behind it. So, oh god, uh, my card pile just fell. <laughs> so as long as we get one thing from this, we're good. Which normally sounds like a, yeah, it's a pretty low shot. But no, based on today's numbers, we're good. We got we got three pulls. We, we, we got it, right? Maybe I should go in with this pure confidence that we've got this. We have the Solrock, the Rare Candy, and the Luxio. Going on to the Tangela, the Bolt Toy, Galarian Meowth, Energy Retrieval, Shinx, Yanma, and... Come on. We go three for three with the two Pokemon. I'm like, yeah, these are fine. And then we get to my favorite one and we only pull two. And one of them is just a stupid card. Either way, getting eight pulls in nine packs is just wild. So now it's time for the bonus card of the day. These are cards that most of the time I buy them as singles typically to go in this segment. There are some special things in, in here, including cards that we pulled off camera, but this I'm assuming is not one of them. It has a bit of a curve to it. It's been definitely in a binder. A uh, little bit of whitening in the corner, but not much. Good looking card. I'm guessing that's gonna be a bit older. We have the Delta Species uh, stamped Dragon Frontiers Chikorita. Um, this is from back in 2006. Um, I love Delta Species. It's my favorite, like, card typing, like, uh, card archetype, I think is the right word. Um, and I, of course, collect stamped cards. That is, like, my primary thing as a Pokemon collector. Uh, so getting Delta Species and stamped just, just makes me happy. That is just, like, the, the, the premium combo. I've actually purchased a couple of these now. I might have all of the Dragon Frontiers ones now. I at least hope I do. If I don't, I should look into what I don't have. But yeah, just the basic little 2006 boy here, but I just love these stamped things. God knows what the value is worth. You guys will have seen it on screen, but I assume it's a bit higher with it being that old. Uh, we'll find out. Either way, I really do hope that you guys have enjoyed. If you did, give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, all of that. Here on screen, there'll be a playlist of all of my Pokemon videos if you just feel like binging. And then there's gonna be another video that I picked that I think you might like if you liked this one. So I do hope that you guys have enjoyed, and hopefully I'll see all of y'all next time. Goodbye for now.